Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. Well, I'm here with the horticulturist Elias Guerrero. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine. We're at the Wildflower Center, and I wanted to show the, um, the viewers how we can uh, use some new landscapes to save water and have them be very, very pretty. Tell us about this one right here. This is a beauty. Well, this particular garden uh, is a more of a West Texas type garden, yeah. all native cacti, uh -huh. uh, very extremely xeric. And uh, do well here in Austin. Do fantastic here in Austin. Yeah. Just the right soil consistency and anything like this is possible. Yeah. I like to call them Austin friendly. Austin friendly. Yeah. Exactly. And so uh, this is one example and there's a whole lot of them out here depending on what you want to change your lawn into. That's right. Uh, that you have choices and I encourage people to come out with a camera. Oh this is a fantastic yeah. place to take notes yeah. and uh, try to come up with a design that'll work for you personally. Um, Everything from informal to West Texas uh, and various combinations. Yeah. So, uh, and what I also like to encourage is take a picture of the plant and the name next to it. That's right. So we can use it at some of the garden centers around town to identify them. Let's walk over here and um, take a look at some of the other plants and uh, situations that are really beautiful that might encourage people to uh, do it at home. Fantastic. So, Elias, uh, in this section right here, I really like it because it's a lawn alternative. It truly is. A yeah. good example of what you want to do if you want to change your lawn to a more native mm -hmm. situation. Uh, native grasses, flowers, uh, pulling out things like big water consumers like St. Augustine yeah, type grasses. Absolutely, yeah. And so, and in a cycle like this, there are flowers uh, another month from now, oh, all yeah. summer long, and then into the fall too. All into the fall and yeah. they won't stop until it freezes. So. Yeah. The color will just continue on. And, yeah. and when it freezes, the use of the uh, clump grasses That's are right. going to really be there. And in the fall, they're so beautiful also. They are. They're yeah. flowering uh -huh. stalks that glisten in the morning dew, and they're beautiful. This is a good place for folks to come out here and uh, take a look for themselves and bring their cameras with them oh, yeah. to see what the alternatives are. And uh, the alternatives are great. With the water crisis going on, this is the place to come see how it's done. This is the thing to yeah. do. Elias Guerrero, thank you very much for showing us around today. And for you. those of you that um, want to come out and learn about water thrifty plants and nice designs, the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center is the place for you. For the Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next week.